Good morning. Now last week I went out and found a load of golf balls and amongst those golf balls we got some stripey balls. The question is, is this junk? Is this a passing fad? Or is it actually any use? Let's start with a Q star because I've just played six holes with a Q star the ordinary white one. And I'm only two over par this morning. Will this help me or not? Well I suppose the first thing I will do is actually line up this thing where I want it to go. And it's a bit of a a bit of a faff to be messing around with this when normally I'd just put the ball down. And I don't think I've got this thing pointing the right way anyway. It just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> Missed by a mile. Well, I'm 50 yards short of the green and I can just barely make out my ball because the blue is facing me. And to borrow a phrase from Golf Psychic, nobody likes blue balls. Now I'd normally look down at the top of a white golf ball with the logos to the side. I don't particularly want to see anything. But I know this putt, so it's fairly easy for me to point the line in the right direction. At least with the putter my eyes are more over the ball, so I can see half of one colour and half the other. That's not a bad putt. At least it seemed to go end over end, which is what it's supposed to do, apart from the bumps. I'll tell you something that's nasty. You can feel the join between the two pieces of material. Click, click, click. Oh well, we'll try again. Well, I've lined the ball up, but because I'm stood so far to the side with the driver, I can see mostly one colour and hardly anything of the other. And to be honest, this is quite distracting. So, I don't really know how to line this thing up. Perhaps I should put it in such a way that I can see 50-50. But then I'd be there it's out all there. damn day. Now it's winter, we've got lift, clean and place. But what I've done is lift it, clean it and put it back exactly how I found it as you would in the summer. And I must admit, this thing is more annoying than helpful. Right through the middle. And this is how I found it again pointing the wrong way. Yeah, I, I think I'll pass on this one. I knew I had it lined up wrong. This is a distraction. And when it's in the rough, blue side up, it's an absolute bugger to find. It's a shame because this is a waste of a good Q Star Tour ball, a ball I like to play. This is junk. Now let's give Taylor Maid a go with their tour response. I get a foot slip on this tee shot which kind of like makes me nervous for the rest of the round. But I miss this fairway Slip. by five, maybe mud. six yeah, feet. Right. Somebody needs to tell Taylor Maid that grass is green. I lost that. Stumped up and down the rough, not a chance. So the bonus ball is this horrible thing. What on earth were they thinking?
Well, that's the second time this round I've knobbed it off the tee. Which is why I was two over after six instead of one over. Well, that's all right. And now you're going to see we've joined up with another two ball. And both these guys make a bird. But not me. Another bogey. That silver dollar? It's a Bitcoin. Now I know Bitcoin. some people will absolutely love these balls, I got some silver dollars. but I don't. As I say, I like to look down on a white ball legal with tennis. no logos. I put them to the side. No, they're not legal. Well, First they're bird. Legal. They're not legal tender. But for me, face value. Ah. bit of a gimmick. John Flag. Not really what I want to be looking down on when I'm playing golf. I expect the comments are going to be pretty wild about this one. And birdie number two. Uh, on the tee, because this is the pixel one, I'm not doing anything other than just putting on the tee peg. I'm not lining it up. Don't know how. Right then. 50-50 ball. Junk. Waste of a Q-Star Tour. Really hated that. Tour response, big green stripe. Lost it. That's probably why when I go out ball hunting, I find a lot of them. Yeah, tailor-made, grass is green. As to the pixel one, gimmick. I mean, what's the point? I suppose the ones with lines on might be useful on the practice putting green. Just to make sure your stroke is decent and the ball's going end over end. Do I actually play with? Not my cup of tea. Ta-ra. And that sound is exactly why I don't like TP5s.